Hey, it looks like I have to redo this video. I filmed this yesterday with this fucking iPhone 12. Junk. Pay to you guys that make videos with iPhones. I've had an iPhone 10 XR. It was way better than that iPhone 12. This Samsung S10 is the best. Way fucking better than anything I've ever had. My Blackberry's better than those iPhones too. But anyways, enough of that. Just had to say it. Fucking junk. I just took these batteries here off the charger. They charged all night. Both fully charged. This should be all set up. That's battery voltage for that one. I've just discharged both those batteries with that inverter and light bulb. Slowly going up a bit. I've got this all soldered and wired up. That's the original output that I've had before on these coils. The original drive coils goes there and they are hooked to the big battery down there the two new ones are here and that's their output here another shotkey diode 400 volt cap 470 uf two, one, two 200 volt caps in series they're both 470 uf and they go to that battery there is that voltage so they're all hooked up I should just have to turn it on this I don't have enough meters to show everything all at once so I'll undo this one and show the current you can see the voltage of it right now so I'll put it on and uh, another thing too these I thought were 110 turns they must be 100 turns each of 19 AWG. I made these 110 turns each and they have a little more impedance than these ones. They draw a little less current. Which seems to work out alright though. Everything's working pretty good. The motor draws about an amp less than it did before and it puts out twice as much energy. And it has a lot more torque too. So I'll start it up. I should just have to give it a small little turn to get it going. There's the amps. Should go. I notice it starts up faster, it has more torque, and it uses less power. Oops, wrong. Let's see. This one used to pull close to 4 amps, but it was over 4 amps and it was under 4 amps, so it was like 4 amps on average. It pulled close to 7 amps on startup. And this one is pulling 1.6 and as it runs it will go down to like 1.4 and this one will go down to about 2.2 you see it there both charging
I've used this before to rub on it. I'll use this round spot here. See, it doesn't use much more power. It still charges. what it did there. Our power. I don't think a Bedini motor can do that. This is set up on the new coils. This one and that one. Different from the previous videos. I'm gonna move this over here. I'll move it to the next line. You can see it's getting turned off pretty fucking good. into that battery. That's the one that's getting charged on there. Small one. This voltage. And it's on for about 50% of the time. 52, 50. Like this, those two coils that I'm measuring. So uh, that voltage is for that one and that coil, and that's the one that's charging this battery. You can see the current keeps going down. Let's see what the voltage is on this one. No, but it's been running. This one pulls a bit more current than that other one. It's pretty much the same. It's a bigger battery, so it pretty much drops at the same same rate. Twelve point six seven. So it's pretty close to the same. Yeah, like that big battery down there, there's nothing wrong with it. It's pulling 15 amps. No problem out of it for like 10 minutes. This one will drop down to about 1.4 after we it up. It's 1.5 now. This one will drop to about 2.2 as the coils warm up transistors. There's 12 of them there now. Each Two coils has six. They're all parallel. There's the caps for these two coils. They're pretty much just paralleled with the batteries. That's it. You can see 
positive is hooked right there directly to the coil positive. And the negative comes over here down this black wire up to the emitter. So that net emitter goes right to the battery. Over here on this one though. It's the same with this cap. It's wired the same but it's hooked up over here. You can see from the trigger coil it goes one directly to the base for these transistors to fire and then from the base it goes through this block wire to the emitter for these ones to fire and then this one comes from trigger coil goes directly to the emitter and then from the emitter it comes from through this yellow wire up to the base right here just completely opposite to each other no resistors, no diodes, just directly from the trigger coil with the NT56 transistors. There are these ones here. These work like really good. I've tried thousands of transistors and the only reason to the best. I've been doing this for fucking 20 years at least. It's the late 90s. Put it down and start it up. Just so you can see the difference in the torque as it starts. This is a pretty heavy flywheel too because it's completely full of epoxy all the way around here. All the way through this tapered edge here where the belt usually goes just a pulley so it's a really good epoxy too it's kind of flexible it's made for fucking really thick pores two inch thick so it takes a long time to cure but it it's hard when it's done and it's doesn't crack easily I can hook that up again with one hand be tough You see too, it starts to oscillate pretty much right away. Okay, it does that. It's pretty much zero, but it's oscillating. Start. Timing is still all with just this one. I can move it. it does both sets of coils. charges at 12 volts it uses a tiny bit more current and it has a little slower frequency well thanks for watching guys